Hi everyone, welcome to Coding with Chandler, and today's video is going to be on switch case statements. Have you ever written a program where there was several if-else statements? Well, that's not necessary when it comes to switch case statements. So today's program is going to take in the day of the week, which could be one through seven, and output what the actual day is, which could be Monday through Sunday. Step one would be to declare your variable day of week and day. Day of week is gonna be of type integer, and day is going to be a string, which represents either, you know, Monday through Sunday. And secondly, we're going to actually prompt our user to enter a number one through seven with our scanner object. And the third step is where we're actually going to initialize the value of day, depending on the number that the user enters. This is where the switch statement comes in. And the fourth step is to display the value to the console. Let's get started. I'm going to declare my day of week variable and make it type int. And I'm going to declare my day variable and it's going to be of type string because it's going to be set equal to the words Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, depending on whatever the user enters. I also need to make a scanner object since we're taking in user input. And then I'm going to print to the console a message that will tell the user to enter a number one through seven. Then I'm going to set day of the week equal to whatever they enter which will be scan.nextInt. Next, we're gonna make our switch statement. First, I'm gonna create the skeleton of the switch statement and then I'll explain what it actually does. Overall, this is what's gonna check against the value of day of week and determine what the actual variable day should equal depending on what they enter. Okay, so this is pretty much what the bare bones of a switch case statement should look like. We have our switch keyword, which is telling the computer, hey, I'm gonna be doing a switch case, you know, check. And then it's gonna be checking against the value of day of the week. And our case is like our if else statement. Case is basically saying, if day of week is equal to one, do whatever is in here, meaning set day equal to Monday, and then break out of this switch case statement. Break is used to simply break out of something. So we are breaking out of the switch case statements. There's no need to check against the other cases if a case is true. Pretty much that's how it works. It's very similar to if else statements. An if else statement would say, hey, if this is equal to one, set day equal to Monday. Else if day is equal to two, set day equal to Tuesday. Else if day equal to, is equal to three, set it to Wednesday. It's the same concept in switch case statements. So now let's type out the rest of this switch case statement and I'll explain it as I go. So case is gonna represent the number that we're checking against. And we can only check against the values that we want the user to enter, which is one through seven. I would never check against the number nine when I know that the user is gonna enter only one through seven. There's no point in checking against nine because it's never going to be nine. And then we're gonna say if it's three, we're gonna set the day equal to Wednesday. Then I'll break out if that's the case, because there's no need to check the other cases if that is true. That's pretty much how if else statements work too. If one of the if statements are true, it's not gonna bother to check the rest of the if statements in the if else chain. So that is pretty much the end of the process of creating the switch case statement. Long story short, case is used to check against every possible case there could be. Basically, a default is just like an else statement. It's basically saying if none of these cases are true, and if a user entered nine or zero or entered nothing or something, day is gonna be set equal to I'm not sure. I don't know what day of the week is if you entered nine when there's only seven values you could possibly have in the day of week. So day will be equal to I'm not sure and then break out. That pretty much represents our else statements if you want to, you know, compare this to if else statements. And then the last step of this program is to print the value to the console. So I'm just going to print out the day of the week is Let's run the program and see if it works. 
So I'm gonna enter one. And it says the day of the week is Monday. Boom, it works. Now let's enter seven and make sure that it enters Sunday. Sweet. Lastly, I'm gonna enter a number that isn't between one through seven, so like zero. And it says the day of the week is I'm not sure. Any questions or if you're confused on how I did something, or if you think there's a better way to do this, feel free to comment down below. I would like it if we all educated each other on this type of stuff. So comment down your thoughts, share this with a friend if you think it would help them, especially someone who's a beginner. If you wanna see this source code or if you wanna use it for any projects or a class assignment, go to my GitHub, I'll link, uh, I'll link the link in the description below. That is all I have for today. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye.